Hello friends, it's Zoe. As you can tell, my room here is a mess, but I promise I have a reason. It's because of this. I'm finally going back to Asia, y'all. I honestly feel like it hasn't fully hit me yet that I'm gonna be in a different continent and country. If you were to ask me right now if I feel excited, um, I don't. I just feel stressed because I have so much to do in so little time and I honestly have no one else to blame but myself because I procrastinated until the last minute. Basically, I'm gonna be away for about two months, so I've been a busy, chaotic mess trying to get everything sorted before I leave. I'm wrapping up a few products for work. I'm trying to get as much content filmed as I can before I leave. I need to give my apartment a much needed clean and pack. And I need to do all of those things before I fly out tomorrow. <laughs> but thankfully my flight isn't until 2 a.m. So my goal is to finish packing tonight so that tomorrow I can focus on work and cleaning. So without further ado, let's start packing. I'm bringing one checked bag and then the matching carry-on. These are both from Samsonite, super durable, have lasted me for years. And then for my personal item, I'm still debating if I wanna use this away duffel or just my backpack. I will say, I like how this bag has a separate compartment for your laptop and tablets because it just makes it a lot easier when you're going through TSA. Thankfully, I already started making my packing list in Notion, but I'm still having a hard time deciding what to pack because I need to pack for different climates. Our first stop is in Singapore, which is like 90 and humid, and then we're going to Shanghai, which I believe is about similar to New York, so like high 40s, low 60s. And then by the time we get to Taiwan and Japan, it'll be April and May, so hopefully it'll be warmer. Also, I'm trying to pack as little as possible because I do plan to do some shoppings, especially in Japan. Um, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try my hardest and not to overpack. Hello, I got new glasses. Do we like? But wait, it's giving a librarian off duty <laughs> so these are from a brand called pear who is the sponsor of today's video as a long time glasses wearer i think this is such a cool concept where you can easily change the style or color of your glasses you get a base frame i chose this black one and then these magnetic top frames that you can easily pop on because they're magnetic literally so cool basically you can just order these glasses online by submitting your prescription and they also have a virtual try on feature it's super easy to purchase online and all the frames start at 60 dollars i also like that they have a pair for pair program so when you buy from them they also provide glasses to a child in need these literally could not have come at a more perfect time i'm so excited to bring these on my trip and be able to easily change out my glasses without having to pack a bunch of different pairs so if you're interested in trying it out you can click the link in my description below to get 15% off your first pair and now I really need to start packing <laughs> When I'm traveling, I like to pack a bunch of basics and neutral pieces that are going to be easy to mix and match and layer with
One of the main reasons why I'm going to Singapore is to see my friend who lives there and it's actually gonna be her birthday. So I got her Glossier U, two bagels, and then the We're Not Really Strangers Couples Edition because she recently got married. But yeah, I hope she likes them. I was trying to think of things that she couldn't get in Singapore. Oh my God, the sun is literally starting to rise. Thank you. 